So the next scene, Fred and Serena are hashing out their mutual shock and dismay in front of an altar. That is inappropriate. This is really amazing to listen to them come to terms with the fact that their their nation that they fought so hard for is basically saying, fuck you guys, we're not doing anything for you. Sorry. Thanks for everything you did. Appreciate it. Good luck with that, baby. We'll take it anytime. And they just can't even believe that they are being treated this way. And I am just kind of giddy and delightful over it because I think it's perfect. I feel like Serena 100% understands that Gilead is full of disappointment. It is Fred who is like, wait, what? This is bad for me? Like, he's always benefited. And Serena, her responses are so funny because it's like the placation of what she should say, but there's no emotion in it. She's just barely even listening to him. She's like, all right, let me let you catch up, have your moment where this is so shocking and unbelievable to you while I sit here with no finger. But... Once we're on the same page, like, let me remind you that you're kind of fucking screwed here because he is and he just doesn't even get it as he continues on. And he's like, oh, well, I won't let that happen. And she's like, you don't have any power. And it's because Serena's already figured this out for herself. This is not news to Serena that Gilead has taken away all of her power. And I think my favorite quote is when he says, it's like they erased me, left me here to rot. And it's like, oh, I think Serena can relate, dude completely unsympathetic to the fact that she is also in this presence me 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 i i i which what a surprise that fred the narcissist is not thinking about anyone else but himself and his own uh and his own uh his own issues um and he's so indignant and you're absolutely right like serena offering those platitudes um but there's no emotion behind them at all because she's just like because the acknowledgement and hearing her say out loud what we have hypothesized would be so such a delicious retribution they could make me a handmaid. Yes. Like, she has to spell out for him um, all the implications of how Gilead's laws will also apply to them. And she knows this. She's known this for a good long while. But Fred is, he's just always thinking that he is somehow above anything like if, if he came up with the idea if he is a founder then he is indispensable and Putnam has definitely let him know oh, now you are absolutely dispensable we are 100% cool with like just flicking you off of our goddamn nose like a booger and Serena is just over here like and who has to deal with the epic fallout of this I do because at the end of it Serena is gonna lose the most she can lose her freedom. She's already lost body parts for us. She's lost her dignity. And now she's probably going to lose her baby in some fashion. I I have to say, though, um, I was I cracked up a little bit when she says they'd send me to the colonies. They can make me a handmaid. And she seems very, I don't know, there was a tone to her voice that made me feel like, oh, God, she's, she's, uh, yeah, she's indignant. I guess indignant is the way to, like, look at it. And I don't want to see Serena be a handmaid. I want to see her baby get taken away from her and given to somebody else. But I don't want her to become a handmaid because I don't want rape to be perpetuated upon anybody. It's a bit Hammer Rabbi's code in that regard, eye for an eye. And we're above that. Um, and we want, we want better for people than they might even be willing to give to others. Um, but it is gratifying hearing her acknowledge that in Gilead, that would be, that would be well within the means of what could potentially happen. And this is the first time we get to actually see her grappling with the notion of not being able to raise her child. Or about going back. She's been so gung-ho on not going back like that just hasn't been her plan season four through all of this she's always imagined herself staying here once this all is said and done so i think that's what's hitting her the hardest is this gilead breath of stale air that naomi achieved when she just wafted in like that because gilead could claim her as property you know what I really loved about um, Serena's line, her placation to Fred when he says um, that they've erased me, they left me here to rot. She pretty much throws back at him what I'm sure he said to her over and over again anytime that she said, you know, anything to that effect of this isn't really working out for me, this life. And he, she says, God knows your sacrifices. And it's so brilliant because on top of it, 
throwing it in his face of everything he said to her, she was sacrificing. And what has Fred ever sacrificed for anyone other than himself? Like he doesn't sacrifice for God or anyone else. So for her to say, God knows your sacrifices, it's like, yeah, it's, it's nothing. Way to go, Fred. I love that line. Well, she also throws it back at him, too, when he says, I'll do everything in my power to make sure you and our son are protected. And she says, what power? What could you possibly do for oh, me here? If only she hadn't asked that question. 